This video will cover the topic, Double Angle Identities, Problem Type 2. Before we begin any example problems, we will first go over our double angle formulas. Our double angle formulas are, sine of 2x equals 2 times sine of x times cosine of x, cosine of 2x equals cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x, cosine of 2x equals 1 minus 2 times sine squared of x, cosine of 2x equals 2 times cosine squared of x minus 1, and tangent of 2x equals 2 times tangent of x minus 1 minus tangent squared of x. We will use these formulas to solve our double angle identities. How will these double angle formulas help in solving double angle identities? Well, let's solve our first example problem so that you can see how the process works. Our first example problem will be 2 times sine of 3 pi over 5 times cosine of 3 pi over 5. Here we can see that our problem is in the form of 2 times sine of x times cosine of x, with the x equaling 3 pi over 5. Now that we know what our form is, we will look to see what double angle formula our problem is equal to. Looking at our table of double angle formulas, we see that our problem's form is equal to sine of 2x. Now that we have found our double angle formula, we will insert our x value into our double angle formula from our previous problem. This results in sine of 2 times 3 pi over 5. We then distribute our 2 into our 3 pi over 5, which results in our final answer of sine of 6 pi over 5. Can we do an example problem involving a cosine double angle formula? Of course! Let's do the example problem cosine squared of 5 theta minus sine squared of 5 theta. First, let's identify what form our problem is in. We can see from our table of double angle formulas that our problem is in the form of cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x, with x equaling 5 theta. Now that we know what form our problem is in, we can find the corresponding double angle formula. Going back to our double angle formula table, we see that the corresponding double angle formula is cosine of 2x. Now we plug in our x value, which is 5 theta, which results in cosine of 2 times 5 theta. We then distribute the 2 into 5 theta, which results in our final answer of cosine of 10 theta. Okay, can we now do an example involving a tangent double angle formula? Of course, it's always important to work on your math skills by doing more example problems. For our last example problem, let's use the problem 2 times tangent of 47 degrees over 1 minus tangent squared of 47 degrees. Let's first identify what form our problem is in. Taking a look at our table of double angle formulas, we can see that our problem is in the form of 2 times tangent of x over 1 minus tangent squared of x with our x equaling 47 degrees. Now that we know the form of our problem, let's find the corresponding double angle formula. Looking back at our table, we identify that the corresponding double angle formula is tangent of 2x. Now that we have our double angle formula, we then insert our x value into tangent of 2x, which results in tangent of 2 times 47 degrees. We then distribute the 2 into 47 degrees, which results in our final answer of tangent of 94 degrees. I think I'm starting to understand, but let me summarize just to make sure. First, we need to identify the form that our problem is in so that we can find the corresponding double angle formula. Once we've found the double angle formula, we then insert the x value from our problem into our double angle formula, which results in our final answer. Great job! It seems that you have an understanding on how to identify and solve double angle identities.